Hi Pisces. Thank you for coming to watch my video. The spirits are telling me that um, there's a message that you need to hear in this video tonight. There's something special that's going to come out and a message to you tonight that you need to know. Spirits, please help me channel a message that needs to go out to Pisces tonight. What do they need to know? Okay. So someone's trying to offer you something and you you don't see it or you're ignoring it. And then you've got the Knight of Wands and so this is very fast moving. So someone's going to be coming in very quickly to offer you something. Um, it could be a gift of passion and love. Wands are passion, the cups are love and emotions. And um, you're going to be receiving some messages that are going to be coming in really quickly. Spirits, please tell me what Pisces needs to know. Okay. They're telling me not to take reversals. So let me turn these around this way. Um, the messages that are coming in are going to bring you your Ten of Cups. So complete emotional happiness and fulfillment. Family, home and um, you've got the Four of Swords and so you may be you're probably going to be able to get some rest now put your mind at ease, meditate not worrying you've got your worries put away and then you've got the Emperor so um You'll be feeling in control and happy and stable, in charge. And then you've got the Ace of Wands, and so a brand new, a brand new beginning, brand new passionate beginning. Brand new passionate beginnings coming in. That's the word I was looking for, passionate. And then you've got the devil. And so there could be something that you need to release that's making you feel like you're in bondage. But we'll clarify these cards to find out what this devil is. What that energy is. And then you've got the Four of Pentacles. And so you're holding on to something close to your chest. Um, it probably has something to do with your money. Okay, and then at the bottom of the deck, you have the Lovers. And so you could be coming into union with someone. Spirits, please clarify the Four of Cups for Pisces. Why is the Four of Cups here? What are they not seeing or refusing? Um, the King of Pentacles. So... 
this king is very financially set, very stable. Um, he has wine in one hand and cake in the other hand. He's got his dog laying next to him and a happy cow with a necklace on and he's completely financially stable. He's got a beautiful house in the background. So there could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. that you're not noticing. Let's see. Okay, and the Six of Cups. So this could be someone from your past who wants to come in and offer you a gift and some sweet words that's going to make you feel really good and happy. And the Knight of Cups. Yep, a lot of um, emotional happiness is going to be coming into you. So if you're not seeing it now, you should start paying attention to what's around you. Please clarify the Knight of Wands for Pisces. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Please clarify the Knight of Wands. Um, it's clarified by the Nine of Wands and so this may be something that makes you feel defensive. You weren't expecting it, which is going to cause a tower. It's going to change everything. And then there's going to be some messages coming in. What are the messages? These are quick messages that are going to be coming in. Um, you got the Five of Swords. And so this Page of Wands could cause some type of, a, of an upset with other people. It feels like a fight that you can't win. And then you've got the Knight of Wands again. And so we'll clarify that to find out what the Knight of Wands is coming in for. When he comes in again, there's going to be a celebration. It's going to make you very happy and you're going to celebrate. And then why is the Ten of Cups here? Okay, so you have the Three of Swords. And so um, your heart is going to be healing. And you're going, to, you're going to be able to release this pain that you feel in your heart right now. You're going to have a lot of emotional fulfillment. And then you've got the Four of Pentacles. So you're going to be holding on tight to something. You're not going to be wanting to let go of this pain. And then the Devil card shows up, which we have down here. Um, so... We'll find out what this is about. It's some type of an addiction. Or bondage. You feel in bondage. Why is the Four of Swords here? Spirits, why is the Four of Swords here? Okay, and so you've got the Star card. And the Six of Pentacles. And the Eight of Swords. Um, you're really in your head about something. You're worried about something. 
and so it's going to cause you to want to go within and think about this. It looks like it's a very good, very good message is coming in, but it's going to be putting you on the defensive and then we'll clarify the devil card again to find out why, what this bad energy is. Please clarify the emperor. Why is the emperor here? Three of wands. Okay, so you're waiting for something. Standing in your power, waiting for something. And feeling on guard about it. Something that you're manifesting. And then you've got the chariot. So you're going to be moving forward into this new beginning because the next card is the Ace of Wands. It's a new passionate beginning. Something that you're very passionate about. Why is the Ace of Wands here, Spirit? Why is the Ace of Wands here? You got the Queen of Wands, and so you're going to be very passionate about something. This is a brand new beginning. This is you um, seeing what you want and just going after it. Nothing's stopping you. You're ready to go. You're going to go get it. You're in your power. The Hierophant. So you're going to be teaching people stuff. People are going to look up to you. Which is going to give you your Nine of Cups. Your wish fulfillment and complete happiness. Okay, now let's find out why we have the other devil. Why do we have the two devils? Spirits, please be very clear and clarify the devil. What is this? Why is the devil here? Okay. Three cards. The devil's here is clarified by you making a decision with the two of swords you're gonna to have to make a very hard decision that you're gonna take your time and do and um, it's something about something that you left in the past something that you moved away from in the past that's going to cause this new beginning to come in And let's get let's get back to these cards. I've got more of these to clarify the double one more time. Spirits, please clarify the devil. Why is the devil here? One more card for the devil. <clears throat> this is bondage or addiction. Okay, so this is something that's been causing you nightmares and feeling stabbed in the back and someone's going to be coming in quickly with the sword to cut that off then you have the knight of swords someone's moving in quickly um, to cut these off they're just about complete 
someone or, or you, the energy is, it's coming in to cut, a, cut it off. It's just about to an end. The nightmares, staying up at night, feeling stabbed in the back, worried. It's all coming to an end. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? How's this, how's this going to end? Spirits, please show me why the Four of Pentacles is here. Okay, the Four of Pentacles is here it's because you're holding on tight to your happiness. You're wanting to walk away from a bad energy. Um, it could be three people you were working with. It could be someone who put you in a three-party three party, um, situation. But you're wanting to walk away from whoever stabbed you in the back and betrayed you and be in your Ten of Cups and your happiness. And, okay. and you've got the Eight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So you're going to be working on something. And whatever you're working on is going to bring you victory and um, you're going to be noticed for it. You've got the six of wands and so whatever you're working on, keep doing it. It's going to be victorious. Okay, and then let's get a couple messages from the angels. Spirits, please give us a couple messages. And these can give you a yes or no answer, so think of a question that you want to know, just in case we get a yes or a no from the angels. Okay, so no need to worry. Whatever you're worrying about, don't worry about it. It's just about ready to let go and be released from you. And reconsider. So if there's something about this devil energy that you're that you need to get away from and you're having a hard time getting away from it and fighting with yourself. It's time to reconsider and release it. And then the question that you asked, the answer is yes. Thank you, Pisces.